Hello everyone. You are watching Tamil and Vlog. Today we are going to see how the all aircraft are uh, fuel efficient because um, all aircraft are flying high distance and their long routes, right? Uh, so that uh, the aircraft need to be fuel efficient. Today we are going to see how the aircraft are um, highly fuel efficient. Uh, before uh, going to the topic, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon button. Let's get going to the video. Now, how aircraft are fuel efficient? The aircraft are fuel efficient due to the following five reasons. Okay, that are drag, composite, bypass ratio, flexible navigation system, and CCO and CDO. Okay, let us see these uh, four re five reasons in detail. Okay, now the first and foremost reason for the aircraft to be fuel efficient is drag. Okay, drag means drag is the opposite force or reaction force to the thrust. Okay, thrust is a forward force. And drag is a uh, force which uh, opposes the aircraft while flying. Okay, the simply say drag is a um, uh, pulling force or opposing force. Okay, uh, there are uh, mainly two types of drag in uh, aircraft. That may be a parasite drag and induced drag. Okay, inside the parasite drag, it is divided into form drag, interference drag, and spin friction drag. Okay, uh, form drag means if you are traveling in a vehicle, means if you Expose your hand to uh, air stream means your hand will push it back, right? Due to the resistance of air, your hand will push it back. Why? Why it is pushed back means because you are exposing the high area of your hand to the air. Due to this high exposure, the hand, hand is pushed back. Okay. To reduce that form drag, we need to reduce the exposure area to the air, to the air. Okay. So that only the aircraft knows. So that only the aircraft knows is pointer. Pointer means sharper to reduce the form drag. Okay, by this manner we can able to reduce the form drag. Then interference drag. Interference drag means, as the name implies, if there is any interference in surfaces. For example, in aircraft many surfaces will interference, right? Example the fuselage and the wing will interference in one area, right? Wing box. In that area one drag is happen. That uh, area is called as um, uh, interference area. And the drag happen in the interference area is known as interference drag. Okay. How we are reducing the interference drag means um, by reducing the sharp corner in the interference areas by using of uh, fairing scowls uh, by the surfaces we are um, reducing the sharp area and also reducing the uh, interference drag. Okay. Then skin friction drag. Skin friction drag means if the um, one is on surface is not polished means. If it is exposed to air, means the non-polished surface may cause turbulence while flying. Okay, the turbulence causes a um, drag called skin friction drag. To reduce that skin friction drag, we need to highly polish the um, surface uh, to reduce the skin friction drag. So that only the aircraft surfaces are highly polished. If you are looking in the aircraft, means your face will visible in the aircraft. Okay, that like the aircraft is polished uh, to reduce the skin friction drag. Okay, then induce the drag. Induced drag is um, occur on only the lifting time of aircraft, which means at the takeoff time. It is not applicable to high speeds. Okay, why it is uh, occurring only takeoff means only takeoff only there may be a high pressure difference in the wings. Okay, uh, if we say um, for flying, low pressure in the upper area and uh, high pressure in the lower area, lower area, right? Pressure moves from higher area to lower area, right? Due to this movement of air. The air uh, strikes the wing tip and uh, pushes down the wing tip, and um, it not allow the aircraft to lift up. Okay, this cause uh, this is a induced drag. Okay, to reduce the induced drag, we need to implement on the device called winglet. That winglet is a um, curved section in the wing tip. That winglet um, stops the upflowing air to the wing surface. Okay, due to this the induced drag is um, due to this the induced drag is um, eliminated. And by eliminating this drag, the aircraft becomes fuel efficient. Okay. Second reason is that composite. Okay. Why we are using composite to the, the to the aircraft fuel efficient means? If we are using composite in the aircraft means, the composite will reduce the weight of the aircraft. If we reduce the weight of the aircraft means, the aircraft will consume less fuel to fly. Okay. So that only we are using composite. The types of composite used in aircraft is mainly the carbon fiber. Okay. Uh, this carbon fiber may, may may strong more than a steel and um, less weight than steel and it uh, offers uh, less maintenance cost and uh, there may be a corrosion resistance than uh, metals. Okay, due to these reasons, uh, composites are used. Uh, um, if the composites are used, uh, the air, the weight of the aircraft is reduced and it becomes a fuel efficient. Okay, this is the reason and. Um, 
and this is the reason for composites the aircraft to be in a fuel efficient state okay? third reason is bypass ratio this bypass ratio is a term used in the aircraft turbine engine uh, bypass ratio means the aircraft turbine engine has two types of air okay one is primary air and the another one is secondary air primary air is the air which is flow into the combustion chamber and mixed with the fuel and come out as a hot gas so this is the primary air secondary air is the air which does not flow into the um, combustion chamber it flows along the combustion chamber or it flows along the um, cowl of the engine and produces extra thrust okay the secondary air causes more thrust and um, more thrust and it also reduces the noise of the engine um, okay due to this bypass ratio uh, promotes the fuel efficiency okay uh, however uh, if the bypass ratio is increased it means the fuel efficiency is increased because of that additional high thrust okay now pratt and whitney 1000g which is implemented in the air uh, airbus a320 neo has the bypass ratio of nearly 9 to 12.5 okay and the rolls royce 10000 which is implemented in the boeing 787 it has a bypass ratio of nearly 11 okay now this is the uh, this bypass ratio is the reason for increasing the fuel efficiency of the aircraft then fourth is flexible navigation system flexible navigation system means in most sophisticated aircraft like airbus a350 the flexible navigation systems are used this navigation system identifies whether there is a rain or whether there is a turbulence or there is a fog and identifies and tells to the pilot okay the pilot will deviate from that weather um, condition um, if you are not using the flexible navigation system means we will directly flow into the weather conditions and if you are going into the weather conditions mean drag will increase turbulence will increase right to escape from the drag and turbulence we need to provide a more fuel to aircraft to sustain in the air okay so that if you are um, not implementing flexible navigation system the aircraft needs more fuel but if you are using the flexible navigation system means the aircraft will find whether the where is the rain where is the turbulence or is the fog and we can able to deviate the, the rain and the tur- thunderstorms and all we can able to save more fuel okay this is the reason of flexible navigation system then last and final is cco and cdo cco stands for continuous climb operation and cdo stands for continuous descent operation okay cco means as the name implies it is a continuous climbing right in earlier days if the aircraft is take off means uh, it will not uh, climb directly to its service line okay it will take certain time to um, reach the service line which means it will take certain steps to reach the service line um due to these steps we need more uh, fuel to burn and more um, more fuel to burn and more time it will take okay if we are using cco uh, such means continuous climb operation means we are uh, continuously climbing to the service line so that we can able to um, save more fuel this will results in the fuel efficiency of the aircraft same as as like in the continuous descent operation as like um, climb uh, same continuous descent in the descent operation these are all the reasons um, for aircraft to be fuel efficient if you guys have any doubt regarding ame or aircraft comment us below uh, see you in the next video thank you take care